Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. I want to explain in this video how I got ripped off at a young age and I most recently had identity theft happen to me. I have a great despise for rip-off artists, scammers out there, and this is why I've been exposing these fake gun and ammo stores who are out to rip you off. Now, I graduated from college in 1991. In the early 90s, there was a recession, and I was told in college that you're going to have trouble getting a job, and I did. So I worked three part-time jobs just to pay the rent, food, gas, bills, and health care. Yep, paid health care in my early 20s. And back then, there, there was computers, but it wasn't like it is now. Not everybody had a computer, so there were phone scams. And I got taken for a phone scam for about 400 bucks. And that really hurt during that time. Now, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I was, I was naive. I was young. I, I thought there was an opportunity to be had. And I got completely ripped off. And I said to myself, get me now because I learned something here and this will never happen again. Well, it happened again. Not long after that, I had a, a job, a, a job that the, the salary was $14,200. So I still had two part-time jobs to make ends meet. And there was a guy that knocked on the door, said he was a bug sprayer. He had to survey the area, went into my office. I had $50. Now, back then, $50 was a ton of money. And he took it out of my wallet. As soon as he left, I, I went right in there, saw that the money was gone. I went chasing after him, and he was gone. And I said, once again, I got scammed. This was in the early 90s. Now that we're in the computer age, it has gotten so much worse. Identity theft, online scams, anything to get you to blow your money in a way that you won't get anything in return. This is happening at a mass level. That is why I am exposing these fake gun and ammo stores. Now, just recently, I had identity theft on my business account. I reported a fraud transaction. It wasn't for much, like 400 bucks, which I mentioned was a ton of money back in the 90s. Now it's not as much, but it's still a good amount of money. And so I, I made the report and they said it takes, the bank said it takes 10 days to investigate it and refund the money. Well, what happened during that time? They kept doing it. I transferred all the money over to a different business account and then there were smaller transactions being taken out and I called them up. I had to call each time and say, hey, this is another fraud. Close the account. I have the money transferred in another account in your bank. And they said, well, it takes 10 days. So this continued to happen. Eventually they said, okay, we're going to close it so nothing can come out of that account. I was like, why didn't we do that from the beginning? I got everything returned, but it took a while. And that hurt for business purposes. My personal account on three separate occasions was hacked and upwards of $1,200 was taken at a time. This is what is happening today and it's happening at a mass level. And we are seeing internet scams going on all the time. If you go to search, let's say a Ruger Security 9, one of those fake gun stores is going to show up and it's going to have a lower price for that gun on their site, which is fake, by the way, compared to a legitimate site. And that draws people in because everybody wants to get the best deal. Naturally, you want to get the best gun for the least amount of money. Okay, makes sense to me. That's why they do it. And I was out uh, just yesterday searching for a certain gun and up comes a fake Gun store. I said, this is another one. They are showing up in the searches before Bud's, before Midway, before many other legitimate online gun stores. And people say, well, I just, I just shop at legitimate stores in which I have experience for, uh, with. And I, I think that's great, but there are so many people who don't do that. That is why I am making these fake gun store videos. Now, the one that I saw yesterday, I plan to make a, a video on that and exposing them. And I want to tell you something. The very first one I did, it got 97,000 views. 
That person was in contact with me via text because he thought I was a customer. Once he figured it out that I'm the, the horrible guy that made the, the video on his fake gun store, he wrote back, hey, nice job with the clapping hands emoji or whatever it is. Nice job. I knew it was you all along. I said, no, no, no. No, you didn't. You were had. He said, he was the guy that's been going on my comment section and spamming everything. Saying that, you know, putting my picture up there saying that you want something, Texas number. It was him. He goes, I'll see you next video because I'm that guy. And I just keep blocking him and blocking him, blocking him. He goes, you can keep blocking me. I have many accounts. This is what's happening. And so getting back to the gun store, the fake gun store videos, the first one I had had 97,000 views. People seem to think, wow, this is really happening out there. So I've done three or four or five cents. And the last couple, one was the fake CZ store has 300 views. Am I complaining about the views? No. Views are views. Views will come, views will go, whatever the case. I, I've been at this a long time. I know what to expect. But the truth of the matter is, there is somebody just like me in the 90s. By the way, I'm 55 years old. For anybody who was wondering, I'm 55 years old. I've been around a long time and I'm, I'm getting scammed to this day from my bank account at a much higher level than I was in the 90s, even though it hurt more in the 90s when I was basically broke and living not even paycheck to paycheck, credit card to credit card just to make ends meet. And I always, always paid my bill, whether I was scammed, scammed or not. But that's why I am doing it. I cannot stand the fact that there is somebody out there who is looking at a gun, sees it for a great deal, and then pays with Zelle or PayPal or Bitcoin or Cash App or all these other ones that I had to learn because I was making those videos. So that, that's why I'm doing it. I think it, it's horrible. I, I hate the scammers. I hate the, the, the posers who pretend to be somebody they're actually not. Many of these people are overseas. I have people contact me and say, well, why isn't law enforcement doing something about this? It's very difficult. I contacted CZ and said, hey, there's Dan Weston site. There's a, a CZ site. They said, we know. Our legal team is on it. This is harder than you think. And yet, somebody types up a certain CZ and what pops up? One of those fake gun stores. So the, the fact that I cannot take the take the the thought of somebody getting ripped off like that is why I'm doing it. I'm going to keep doing it, but if the attention just isn't there, then I may lay off it a bit. But that's what's going on. That's why I did it. This is story time with TFG because I want to do a service out there. I've worked hard to build a platform. I want to use that platform to help somebody out so they don't get ripped off like I did in the 90s and even today with my bank accounts so that the gun community can benefit from and and legitimate online stores and your local gun store can benefit from your business. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.